Good morning, students. In previous classes, I have completed lots of topics in object-oriented programming using C++. So, in this new class, I come with another important features of object-oriented programming, that is inheritance in C++. So, what do you mean by inheritance? So, inheritance is nothing but the flow of properties from one generation to next generations so and that is why inheritance is important in C++ also so now inheritance is the ability in context of C++ if we see inheritance is the ability of one class to inherit the properties of another class a new class can be created from an existing class the existing class is called base class or super class or parents class and the new class is called derived class or sub class or side class so for example car inherits from another class automobile similarly science students inherits from class students so now what is the advantages of inheritance so lots of advantages we have seen in the c++ programming or inheritance in object oriented programming so first is reu reusability of code so it it actually save times because when some code is again we create newly then it takes time but reusability of code actually save times number two size of code is reduced so here size of code is reduced because due to reusability number three tangib tangitivity so if b class is derived from a and c is derived from b then c is also derived from a so this tangitivity properties uh save us time save time and it gives new some advantages in case of coding so there are so many types of inheritance we have seen in c++ single inheritance multiple inheritance multi-level inheritance hybrid inheritance etc now we go one by one so single inheritance when one base class and one derived class so one direct class is derived from the base class when a subclass is inherits from one base class it is called single inheritance so for example person the base class student derived class so this is single inheritance next multi-level inheritance so when a subclass inherits from a class that itself inherits from another class here you see B is inherited from A, so again C is inherited from B, so ultimately multi level inheritance. So when four wheeler inherits from automobile and two wheeler inherits from four wheeler, ultimately this is multi level inheritance. Next, multiple inheritance that means when more than two base classes and one direct class is there from both base classes then it is multiple inheritance when a subclass inherits from multiple base classes so x and y are base classes and z derived classes so the derived class so their z class is derived from x and y classes so similarly son or daughter is inherits from father and mother class this is the simple example of multiple inheritance next hierarchical inheritance that is also when many subclasses in H from a single base class, suppose A is a base class, then B, C, D are derived from class A. So this is hierarchical inheritance. For example, quadrilateral is a base class, then square, rectangle, and rhombus, some derived class from quadrilateral, then this situation is known as hierarchical inheritance. Now hybrid inheritance which contains two or more form of inheritance you see 
this is the hierarchical inheritance as, a, as well as multiple inheritance as well as single inheritance so this combination is actually hybrid inheritance similarly here multiple and hierarchical inheritance so these situations q and r inherits from p and s is inherits from q and r this is multi hierarchical inheritance similarly b is inherit from a b c and e and f inherits from d this is multiple as well as hierarchical multi level inheritance so this is hierarchical as well as it is hybrid inheritance now come to simple program suppose how we define how we do program using inheritance so we define a class persons then character name any desire is public visibility mode that we get we, we define a uh, user defined function void get so see out and turn name and is scene name and is so close and another function void show which displays the name and is so see out name and is this is so this is close and then we define a class student which is a draft class single inheritance this is nothing but single inheritance the student is there from the person's class so this is base class and this is draft class so what is the format of defined draft classes so class draft class name colon pub visibility mode and base class so this is character group public for get data gets gets so see out enter signs or commerce or group of c in group so this is close point so so see out the group and our signs or words this is so in this our main now we create the object of derived class student because we always try to use the derived class object so object the get and show in return zero and this way you can simple you can give simple example of inheritance now identify the type of inheritance so this is class face to face this is and class online so these two classes define one is face to face class another is online class so here class training is defined face to face and online so one is from public visibility and another is from private visibility so what type of inheritance is this i think this is multiple inheritance because single class training is derived from multiple multiple base class so this is this is this this is so this is multiple inheritance now training this okay now again base classes Case and online draft class then it's a multiple base class or right? multiple inheritance. So now another example class those so protected price and this public these are functions of so class those is defined. Now soft those public those this is actually uh, first means it is single inheritance this is and this is again electronic doll this is single inheritance from dolls so you see this class dolls and soft dolls and electronic dolls this is hierarchical inheritance similarly class furnishers and sofa is publicly inherited from furnishers so again office which is publicly private inheritance of sofa in this uh, and get this office so it is a hierarchical inheritance furniture sofa and office 
Super is there from funny side. Office is there from sofa. So this is multi level in events. So now come to visibility mode. We see that there are three visibility mode in C++, public, private, and protected. So how this visibility mode works in inheritance concept. The private data of a base class cannot be inherited. We have already known the private data of a base class cannot be inherited. So number one, if inheritance is done in public mode, then public members of the base class become the public member of the right class and protected member of the base class become the protected member of the right class. So it is important. So we this is the scope of public mode because when we define the right class in public mode then public member of the base class become the public member of the right class and protected member of the base class become the protected member of the base class so if inheritance is done in private mode then what happens we see public and protected member of the base class become the private member of the derived class so in this case some restriction is there it is why it is used for data hiding concept so if inheritance is done in protected mode then public and protected member of the base class become protected member of the direct class. So protected is also has some less scope than public visibility mode because when we define a protected, when we derive a class in protected mode, then public and protected member of the base class become protected member of the derived class. So if we see the scenario, this is to give the best example. So access public protected and private visitor member of the same class suppose yes public then protected member of the base so if we define public then the right classes public and not members this is public if we define base class we define protected then Member of the direct class is protected and no, there is no not members. And if private, then if we define a direct class private, then all data members of public and protected are become private. So this accessibility of base class members. So base class member give in in this way you can get the concept now suppose we take an example class 1 so this is ISTM.h so this is class 1 and it is our value on the class one by and protected B and public C this is private protected and public 1 so 1 is a constructor so A equal to 3 B equal to 5 C equal to 10 close for it so see how A B, C is this, and we see the class 2 public 1. So, in the P public 2 P equal to 20, right? So, in the ABC, this is so this is error because not accessible, and these are okay. B and C are okay because A is private, so private members are cannot access in the direct class. That is why B and C will workable. Oh, this gives a result okay it is not this error similarly if class 3 is defined from public to publicly from 2 then this are x public 3 3 is 100 so this is okay p is not okay because p is here p is not accessible b and c okay because why p is not accessible because we see p is the private member of class 2 so we cannot access private members now in the main tree so we, try, we object created from tree and see if this is okay public member error because b is private member so so then this gives the results similarly if we take another example, class 1, private member A, protected B, public C, so ABC, so this is 
now class 2 protected one suppose protectedly derived drive to class from one then p p in the public to this this and this is not accepted because privately private members and other is okay so in this way you can see the examples so similarly again if we see class one in this area protected b public if you see this one this constructor a equal to a this is so then this if we are we define a class 2 private one so from different class 2 privately then public with this this is its own member so it will work but this is error because the their public and protected member become private and so it is not work and this is error has become private not accessible has become private and this way we can conclude this basic concept of object oriented programming and inheritance thank you